Hey everybody, I'm Mark Edward Lewis from cinemasound.com. Today we're very excited to be sharing with you a little tutorial on our DaVinci Resolve audio presets. Uh, the DaVinci Resolve presets here in uh, version 14 plus are a little different than any of other audio presets and uh, you got to implement them a little bit differently. But once you install, install them, which is really easy to do, uh, they're really, really powerful. Let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, we're here in DaVinci Resolve. We're on the Fairlight page down here. And to get to access to most, not all, but most of the DaVinci Resolve Cinema Sound Audio presets, we're going to go here to the Fairlight page and go to Presets Library. Now, the way DaVinci Resolve organizes their presets, it's a little bit wonky, but we'll show you what's going on here. So Equalizer Only, EQ Only, are here under the EQ presets. Dynamic Presets, the Single Band Only, are here. And the reason we have to do that is because the equalizer and the dynamic are uh, basically integrated into the channel. So they have a special thing that they have to do there. Uh, the plug-in presets are for your third parties plugins and then all of the combo the powerful combo presets are available in the global track preset so i've got some dialogue here that we recorded on set all right route them through supply holding let's slow them down so let's just drop some of these combos on here and see how much fun we can have so to do this this is on audio track two so we're going to select audio two and here's a cs combo dx for dialogue bad phone we're just going to drag the bad phone on here actually we'll just hit apply even better bang and now you can see it's on the track not on a clip that's different we have that too but notice what's here you've got the vocal channel you've got a little distortion you've got a strong eq curve and dynamics this is a massive plug-in preset uh organization let's see what happened here all right route them through supply holding let's slow them down bam you got a phone all that stuff Bam, like that. We also have some cool organizations of dialogue around actors and how their how their general sounds work. Here's Kate Blanchett. All right, route them through supply holding. Let's slow them down. And what's happening here is we've got the vocal channel happening and a really nice de-esser, as well as a really cool EQ curve and dynamics once again. Let's look at another one. Here's Kathy Zeta Jones. All right, route them through supply holding. Let's slow them down. Nice, beautiful sound. Here's dialogue cops. Supply holding. Let's slow him down. Here's, uh, let's see, James Earl Jones. This guy's got kind of a tenor voice, so I'm not sure how successful that'll be, but let's see. All right. Oops, let's apply. Uh, audio to James Earl Jones. Apply. Welcome through supply holding. Let's slow him down. Now, there's a little bit of a well, pitch our... thing on here to lower his voice, so if we turn this off. All right, route them through supply holding. Let's slow him down. And you can, of course, change the pitch if you wanted to make his voice bigger uh, straight from within Fairlight. Here's Liam Neeson. All right, route them through supply holding. Let's slow him down. Here's Lily Tomlin. All right, route them through supply holding. Let's slow him down. If you were all old enough to remember Martin Short... All right, route them through supply holding. Let's slow them down. Here's Tom Cruise. All right, route them through supply holding. Let's slow them down. And obviously it's not their voices, but it has the frequency, uh, sibilance, compression that normally their voices kind of have. Here's one that's fun that you all should have. It's the Canyon. All right, all right route right, them through right, supply, right, holding. supply holding. Let's slow them down. down. Here's dialogue, down, 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 down. silvery ambience. All right, route them through supply holding. And again, it's a vocal thing, and it's the multiband compressor, which is doing a lot of work. Let's slow them down. On the high frequencies here, which is super cool. Please go away. Thank you. Uh, here's next room. This one's fun. All right, route them through supply holding. Let's slow them down. <laughs> super cool. Here's edgy mail. All right, route them through supply holding. Let's slow them down. And a nice one, which is um, we use all the time, dialogue leveling. All right, route them through supply holding. Let's slow them down. And we actually have a little soft clip on it, so if you wanted to add edge to it, you can, but otherwise we can turn that off and make it clean. All right, route them through supply holding. Let's slow them down. I mean, it is just volume all the way across, and it's doing a lot. Again, it's a vocal uh, channel, the multiband, two, uh, two multiband compressors. All right, so this is some of the combinations. We're going to look at some musical examples here in a second. Here's a, a female voice doing kind of the same thing, dialogue uh, leveling. That was the terrarium citizen life systems compromised. Here's edgy female. That was the terrarium citizen life systems compromised. Cool. And there's all these dialogue ones here. Here's a di dialogue trailer VO, which uh, if you have it on a mono channel, you have to turn off the stereoizer, otherwise it won't work. 
That was the terrarium citizen life systems compromise. And here's his voice. Lots of bass. All right. Rot them through supply holding. Let's slow them down. Cool. And then you have a whole bunch of other ones that are general. Here's contour control. We're going to look at these with the music example. Mix examples. Um, now, one thing. When you do any of these mix and contours that you drop onto the master channel, that's great. But remember that DaVinci Resolve doesn't have a really good limiter. It's really just a... Uh, super compressor you, to you and you want a limiter to, so that you don't get the call from quality control so that nothing goes over zero so you're going to have to instantiate a third party limiter and we talk about on uh, cinema sound where to get a free one that works really well our friends at yong have one so if there's anything that says it's bracketed in here with limit that means you need to add to be safe a limiter at the end of the chain and as we continue down there's mix and then MX stands for music. We're going to look at that. And then, of course, tons of sound effects, all kinds of sound effects stuff here. So those were all the combos. These are now straight equalizer presets here. Like, in fact, here's dialogue notch for music. And what does that mean? That means where you would notch out uh, the dialogue so that the music can live. There's also the opposite, where you dial notch out the, the music for the dialogue. That was the terrarium citizen life systems compromised. And we have it for male. Here's a general loudness contour we can use. And you can see again the EQ is being changed while we update it. That was the terrarium citizen life systems compromised. General next door, sort of the same thing we heard with the combo, but just with EQ. That was the terrarium citizen life systems compromised. And again, here's sound effects to music notch, which is going to sound really weird on dialogue, but... That was the terrarium citizen life systems compromise. We also have hum remover, music from the record player, um, all kinds of stuff here. And then straight dynamics presets where we have smooth and easy, where the dialogue, uh, in fact, this is, this, is, this is great. I have a single band compressor. You can see it move here. That was the terrarium citizen life systems compromised. In fact, in this case, we'll need to bring down the threshold because this recording is a little low. That was the terrarium citizen life systems compromised. There we go. That was the terrarium citizen life systems compromised. But bang, it's nice, smooth and easy, not doing too much. And then you have a snappy version of the same. That was the terrarium citizen life. Again, the threshold comes down. That was the terrarium citizen life systems compromised. You can see how much more snappy that is. Cool. Now, as to other plugins that are not embedded in these channels, like the EQ and Dynamics, like multi-band compressor. We've taken the, the painstaking, painstaking pains uh, of all of the plugins where we've used them in the combos and where you can use them individually, like over here, like multi-band compressor, and added the presets there as well. So if we close this, and I want to drag this to this clip per se, that's fine. And now if you look under the presets, here are all of the multi-band compressor presets that are in those combos. For example, the easy feature multi-band compressor um, one and two, we should have general contour and cook. Yes, there they are. Some really, really great options here for being able to just do on the clip level the same kind of uh, stuff we want from the track level. That was the terrarium citizen life systems compromise. And here it's doing a beautiful uh, mid-range compression while leaving the highs and lows alone. All right, let's look at some music examples. <clears throat> All right, let's look at some music examples here. So, you know, some nice orchestral stuff. We're going to, again, go to Fairlight Presets Library. And we can drag the multiband compressors over here if we want. But I tell you, the, pro the power of these combos just is unstoppable. And again, you can use the dialogues or sound effects or anything on there. But um, we're going to be on Audio 1 now. Let's do Combo General control what does that mean what's happening here well we've got uh, a multi-band compressor doing a great job of controlling the overall frequencies while kind of making it sound a little bit better as well as a nice easy loudness contour for an eq let's look at uh one of these here's control oh here's just general contour this is great and you'll be able to hear the difference here. So very little compression, but lots of uh, frequency work. Here's control and brighten. Control darken. Control edge. Control roar. And here's general control.
And then you also have just overall mix. Here's a contour for DVD Blu-ray. And notice that there's two multiband compressors going on in here. A nice, easy loudness contour. What's the vocal? This isn't, this isn't doing anything at the moment. And again, you'll need a limiter if you're going to put this on your master. And then here's the feature version of same, which will be more dynamic range. Here's Mix Easy DVD. Again, two multiband compressors going on at the same time, really bringing in a beautiful cascade. Cascade of leveling. It's really beautiful. And keeping frequencies under control. Uh, let's see what else we got. Okay, let's get to music ones here. Uh, yeah, music, beautiful contour. Let's try this. Contour and control. And anytime it says control, that means that there's some kind of multi-band or even single band compression going on. And anytime it says contour, that means mids are being reduced and lows and highs are being boosted. So if you have contour and control, you get both. So here's just contour. Folk, country. Jazz. Mark Murphy. And Mark Murphy is the orchestral setting I use for my own film scores. So you can see it's kind of a complex EQ curve, uh, along with some multiband compression, keeping everything really nice. Mark Murphy pop. Metal. Rap. Techno. Ooh, lots of bass. Cool. Uh, and you're, you're, just, you're just hitting this. It's like uh, your head unit at home, you know? You're like, oh, I want which, which preset do I want? Oh, silvery. Here, these are beautiful. Silvery uh, mix. This is for mixes. Feature. Thumpy. Trailer park. I don't want to do these internet ones because you'll be wearing a speaker cone. It's pretty, pretty, pretty hardcore. Here's edgy. And back to easy. So super powerful. And of course we have these for sound effects and then, oh, we got to get, this is a single, this is two single band compressors in series. Um, here's the, there, these are what's on the vocal channel right now. And what happens is they work off of each other to create a beautiful, seamless dialogue. If you want to use them on dialogue or mix or music or whatever, just look at these levels and let me get to a better place here. You can see the gain reduction here, what's happening. And it's keeping it right there. Nothing's moving. We can do the same thing. Let's just try this on the dialogue. Let's add this to uh, uh, the dialogue here. I just said that twice. All right. Route them through supply holding. Let's slow them down. All right. Let's turn it off for a second so you can hear the difference. All right. Route them through supply holding. Let's slow them down. He's actually pretty non-dynamic. I think she's a more dynamic. That was the terrarium citizen life systems compromise. Let's try this. With it on. That was the terrarium citizen life systems compromise. And that's version A. Here's version B. That was the terrarium citizen life systems compromise. A little more dynamic range, but it's a little snappier. So there's over 155 of these presets available. And in DaVinci Resolve, you can get them on the clip or you can get them on the track in most cases. And it's super powerful. So it's pretty cool and makes doing post-production audio really, really fast if you have to be down and dirty in the NLE, in DaVinci Resolve. It's available at the cinemasound.com store. Just go to cinemasound.com and click on the store tab and scroll down until you see the DaVinci Resolve presets. And you download them and they're yours forever. Hopefully this video has been valuable to you. If so, please subscribe to the channel and again, visit us at cinemasound.com where we have hundreds of articles and videos just like this to help you get that holiday. Hollywood unfair competitive advantage into your productions, specifically around immersive audio. Until then, we'll see you in post. Even if you're